Hello, veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. In the last episode, I fried the Hellworm with Ardor and Faraga spells. I also used the Excalibur on his ass. Now we're going to talk to Montblanc. Yes, we crushed the Hellworm. I mean, it was like a 22 minute video or some shit like that, but it actually took me a lot less time to, to fucking beat him. Yeah, we get 50,000 gil and we get the Yuzmat hunt, which is the final hunt in the game. No creature more foul walks this Ivelisse, Koopo. The time to vanquish this threat has come. I await stout hearted warriors to meet this challenge. Uh, I'm listening. Of course you're talking about us. You're talking to us right now. Yes, I accept. Because uh, I have everything I need to uh, defeat this guy pretty handily. I have all the breaker... Abilities. I have the Yagi Dark Blade. I have the Dark Shot. I've got Black Robes. I've got Dark Spells. Got everything that I could possibly need. But again, just like the Hellworm, this is going to be a total team effort. Uh, I'm going to have one party that's the debuffing party, and then the, uh, the other party is going to be the party that, uh, that wins, or at least does the majority of the, uh, the damage. Yes, yes, Matt, the hunt begins. Alright, so let's take a look at it. Well, I know where it's at. Be prepared for a search as its precise whereabouts are on... Yeah, uh, I know where it's at. Basically, we gotta go back to... Uh, fucking... Uh, what the fuck is it called? The Pharos. We gotta go to the Pharos. <laughs> so, um, that's what we are going to do. Anyways, before we get there, I'll go over my party set. Basically, my party setup, the well, I'll go over my buffing party first. But yeah, or my debuffing party. But yeah, Bosch, he's gonna basically do the same thing he did in the last battle against the Hellworm. Uh, I'm gonna have Ash just just fucking deal damage, I guess, while he's uh, debuffing the boss. And Pinello, same thing. I just got her set up with. Um, With shock spells, maybe she'll buff the party a little bit before the fight. Um, and matter of fact, maybe she'll just do that throughout the fight at the beginning because, uh, well, while I'm nerfing him, I'm going to need it. But yeah, I just got self bravery, Pinello Faith, and then uh, disease, maybe resistance, or whatever. I'm not going to be using Reflect with this party, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, with. With Bosch, I'm just going to be using Wither, Addo, Expose, and Shear again. So that's that's nothing special there. Alright, so here's my equipment setup for Vaughn. I got him with the Yagi Dark Blade, of course, because it is Dark Elemental. Yuzmat is weak to Dark Damage. Black Robes, because it will boost that damage by 50%. Genji Home, because it helps his uh, strength. And uh, he actually has a chance to counter with this as well. And then the Genji Gloves, uh, because it helps the combo rate. Which he's going to be comboing a lot. I mean, don't expect to see like maybe 8, 9, 10 hit combos with this. It's amazing. Alright, got Balthier with the Mathuna and the Dark Shot. Obviously when Balthier isn't uh, buffing the party. with the o Yeah, because I'm going to be using Reflectigo with this party. So I'm going to want him to have the Opal Ring equipped. So... 
so he can um, use a Staga and shit like that. I also got him equipped with a, with a white mask to absorb holy because uh, well, I want at least one character to have sort of high HP just for a little insurance. I don't want to want to happen what happened with the Hellworm where I actually had to sit there and worry about X potions and shit. But yeah, I should only need one ribbon realistically. I, I should be able to get by just fine with that. Um, but yeah, I got Fran with the black robes. Uh, you could alternatively equip... Uh, well, actually, why don't I do this to raise magic? What do I have? Glimmering robes, lordly robes. You know what? Why don't I do this? Since I don't need the burning bow for this fight... I could just uh, give her the lordly robes instead. Because that'll help her magic power. Yeah, she'll do more damage with her spells, and then I could, and to boost dark damage, I can give her the, uh, the Zeus Mace. And then I could just give her, like, whatever shield. Uh, yeah, I'll give her the Aegis Shield, because, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll help protect against <laughs> status ailments. Although, it doesn't really matter, I guess, since I have a ribbon, but whatever. I don't, yeah, I don't think we can actually evade any of this uh, boss's attacks anyways, so it probably doesn't matter. Equipping a shield at all, it pro it, yeah, it probably really doesn't matter at all. Well, unless, unless he uses, Matt uses regular, um, regular elemental spells, then it might matter, but... Either way, yeah, the Zeus Maze powers up dark attacks by 50%, so I don't, I don't, you don't... I actually did test this off screen. If you're trying to equip uh, black robes and the Zeus Mace together, it doesn't double the uh, the dark damage. It can only you can only boost it by 50 percent, <clears throat> by 50 percent. So um, yeah, I did test that. But yeah, that's my party. Uh, the gambits for these three are yeah, Vaughn's gonna use a block of spine on himself, and then he's gonna attack like crazy. Uh, Baltier, he's gonna use reflecting emotes. I, I'm gonna turn that on later. And these are the gamuts that I have set up for Fran. And that's about it, really. That's that's my strategy. That's how I'm going to beat Yizmat. Ally status reflect. Darkest spells. So, it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of dark damage going on. Wow. Eight minutes into the video and I haven't even fucking left for having asked yet. That's crazy, huh? Alright, so we're gonna teleport to... Pharos at Ritterana. Yep, we are going to that arena area down here. That is where we need to go. There he is. 
There he is. He looks threatening, huh? Here we go. This is Yizmat. So, let's turn on some gambits here. Let's turn that on, and that's all I need to turn on. Yeah, you want to nerf this guy's strength to start out. Come on, Bosh. Nerf that strength. Don't miss. I think it's going to take longer to nerf this guy's strength, huh? Especially if he keeps missing. Come on, man. Okay. Okay, that's that's probably good enough. Moving on. Moving on, let's go with a little addle. Gotta get that magic down. magic power. Alright, one more. Actually, that's probably good enough. Moving on. Expose. Lower that defense. Alright, that's probably good enough. And last but not least, Sheer. Oh man, that didn't do anything. No status ailments or nothing.
Ooh, look at that. What a cheap ass. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. He has no fucking clue. Yeah, I don't need that one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah. As soon as I turn gambits on. Yeah, this guy's fucked. He doesn't stand a chance now. Now if we can just stop. Oh, now if we can just get into uh, like critical status, that would be amazing. Yeah, if we can get Vaughn into critical status, he's gonna do double damage. He's gonna start cranking it out. Holy shit. Yes. More of that, please. Look at that, man. He's doing like 35k per hit. That is just fucking awesome. See how much this does. Not a lot. It's all right.
Yeah, for some reason he just likes attacking Vaughn. Oh wow. I'd like to get Fran into critical too, but it's not happening. Yeah, fucking nine hit combos, man. Look at that shit. And he's dead. And now he's alive. Yeah, this guy has 50 million HP. 50 million. That's a lot of fucking HP, man. I think the most of any Final Fantasy boss ever. Go, go, Vaughn, go. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, nice try. You failed, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Balthier does not have the uh, the adrenaline augment with uh, his job selection. It'd be nice, but other characters need it more. Slowly but surely. Is 
There's no way I'm gonna be fighting this guy for an hour, I'll tell you that much. This guy is gonna be dead before that. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Come on, man, put Vaughn in critical. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Go, Vaughn. Go, Vaughn, go. Go, Vaughn, go. No, don't fucking. Ah, that's stupid KO bullshit. Oh, now he's doing this. You ass. Instant death. Yeah, the hellworm didn't do that. Oh, what the fuck? Now you're doing it twice in a row? Oh, fuck off, man. Wow, this is, uh, fantastic. How am I doing on uh, reflect modes, by the way? Okay, I'm still good. What the fuck, dude? Cheap ass. Now he's like in love with doing instant death. Mo what the fuck? At your best. Fuck off, man. being a cunt and just let me kill you. Again? Really? You aren't gonna stop us, man. We are gonna win. You're just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, we survived all your bullshit instant death attacks. Are you out of MP yet, fucker? This guy's serious. He is really fucking pissed off. Alright, man, it's getting a little bit cramped over here, isn't it? Jeez. Bullshit. Oh. Yeah, man, this guy was a great A cunt. The only way, the only way he can do anything with me is just cheap instant death. Shouldn't be happening, man. What the fuck? You failed to kill us again, 
asshole. You're not gonna get us. How many feral strikes are you gonna do in a row? Jeez. What the fuck? Okay, stop it. <laughs> stop it already, man. I don't remember him doing this many instant death attacks the last time I fought him. This just must be a part of it, like, the AI or something like that, man. The AI right now is like... He is, man, it's like instant death crazy. Yeah, I don't think you can, uh, I don't think there's any way to block that, att that attack at all. It's pretty much, uh, yep, when he uses it, you're screwed. So you better hope he not, doesn't use it. gonna do this shit now. like 15 more life bars to go, huh? Not too bad. We got this. It's kind of annoying that he never hits Fran, to be honest. It really is at this point. Because, I mean, if I could get her into critical as well, I mean, that would double her damage. Yeah, well, he was about to die anyways there.
Oh, you can't. Stop it. Come on, man. That's the only way you can fucking do anything is that cheap ass shit. Yeah, more cheap ass shit. And the fact that he uses it like five times in a row is just bullshit. Go, go, Vaughn, go. I swear, man, Yizmat, his his reset button is that feral strike skill that he does. That's his reset button. Oh my God, this is cheap. I'm turning off the game. Yeah, see, he fucking does it constantly. Well. I'm not running out of Phoenix Downs anytime soon. And I still got plenty of reflect modes, so I think we're good. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, keep doing that, asshole. It's not gonna save you. Guys, like, man, I'm having a terrible day today. These are the strongest fucking humes I've ever, well, and bunny people that we've ever seen, or that I've ever seen. That's probably what he's thinking, right? Yeah, he hit combo at 18 HP before he bites it, and then he's gonna start doing this, of course, of course. Now he's gonna do it to somebody else, right? Bullshit. Stop that. Just knock it off. 
I said knock it off. Threat. Oh, yeah, his level double. He's still a kitten. He's still a kitten. He can't hurt us. Unless he uses Feral Strike. Death Strike, or whatever the fuck it's called. Cheap Strike. Bullshit Strike. Six life bars left. Pretty soon here, folks. Pretty soon. I totally underestimated the red maze the last time I played this game, man. The fucked up thing about it was I realized that as I was fighting this guy, I was like, wow, man, you know, if I had some darkness spells right about now and some reflect, I could kill this guy even faster. Same as my Phoenix Stones, actually. Yeah. 
Oh, come on! How can you never do that on Fran? What are you, sexist or something? She's, she's hurting you too, man. Couple more life bars left. We got him. Go, Vaughn, go. Go, Vaughn, go. Come on, man. At least he stopped spamming uh, Death Strike. I was getting fucking annoyed. <laughs> yeah, he's on his last one, man. He is totally fucked now. Oh! Last. Last gasp, right? Fucking lucky ass. Oh, come on! Stop it! What the fuck? Quit being a cunt, dude! You know you're gonna die! What the f- Now you're doing this? Yeah, he's getting crazy, man. He knows he's about to die. Jeez. Wow, he actually hit Fran with that for a change. Holy shit. I'm impressed. Come on, dude. Come on, Vaughn. Hurry up and finish this guy off before he can do that again. Go, Vaughn, go. Go, Vaughn, go. Come on! Come on, we got him. We totally got him. We totally got him now. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, what? It took me like a half hour to get him? Maybe a little bit more? Again, the cunt wouldn't, like, if I could have gotten Fran in critical status during that fight, he would have died faster. But for some reason, he never attacked her. For whatever reason. But there you go, folks. That's the, uh, the Yizmat fight. Uh, yeah, let's take you out. And let's put you three in. So there you go, folks. That's the ultimate... One of the ultimate super bosses in this game. I guess uh, there's another one. In the great crystal area that I have yet to fight. But I will. Because, uh, well, you have to fight him in order to actually get the ingredients for the Worm Hero Blade. Where 
Where are my people, man? What the fuck you two doing, man? Hurry up and fucking help me kill shit. Yeah, fuck this. We're just gonna run. Skip all these stupid bad guys. They're gonna die anyways. So they should consider themselves lucky. Yeah, if I, I mean, if you can give two characters all the job with, uh, I don't know, if you could somehow get your hands on two y Yagyu Dark Blades and, uh, you got two Shikaris, and then, uh, probably beat that guy faster. I don't know, for me, I just try to, you know, with the role playing, I just try to make it so, um, you know, I. I see both here with guns, I see Fran with uh, bows, you know, I see Vaughn with, like, using all different types of weapons. I see Ash as a knight, you know, I just, I try to keep variety in there. I don't want to just overpower everything. I mean, I did overpower everything, but I mean, you know, I, I like the characters to be somewhat unique. Wow, they're all gonna gather and see how great we are. Yeah, pretty much uh, the way I built Vaughn was uh, for years, Matt. I mean, I'll be honest. That, the way I built Vaughn, it, this whole playthrough has been just to kill years, Matt. That has been his, he's been building up to this moment. Alright, so we get 30,000 gil and the God Slayer's badge, which again is one of the ingredients you need to sell at the bazaar to get the Worm Hero Blade. Yes, we are the greatest hunters Ivelisse has ever seen, bar none. But that doesn't mean we're done hunting monsters. I mean, we got rare monsters we can fight. So, and we got stuff in the Great Crystal we can fight, uh, namely another optional boss. So I'll be showing that off in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.